Hi friends, Janet with Fruit of the Vine here. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you being here with me. Um, this is just a quick, simple project that I'm going to make real fast that I'm going to show you. You just need a canvas for it and some beautiful napkin, whatever napkin you want to use. Now this happens to be a gorgeous napkin. It says Rejoice in Him. And my friend Carol, uh, Carol Reynolds, uh, get, sent me these. She sent me some gorgeous napkins. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful napkins. And um, I'm going to take this napkin and I am going to create a beautiful painted praise with it, so to speak, even though it's it's not a, um, I'm not going to be doing any painting whatsoever. Just so happens, happens that this napkin is a full, gorgeous printed napkin. So I thought it would be perfect for this project. Very, very simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is get out my Mod Podge and I'm going to use a sponge brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the entire canvas with this Mod Podge right on the top. Just a nice thick layer of Mod Podge. Well, it doesn't have to be a, you know, a thick layer, but a nice layer of Mod Podge I'm going to put on here. And then we're going to let that dry. Actually, I've been um, invited out to church, and I'm going to do a project at church, and I'm just working on this as, as sort of a beforehand. And this is perfect. So we're just going to put the Mod Podge on, and then we're going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to be using some more of it, too, in just a moment. I'm going to plug in my iron and let it start getting warm. We're going to do a heat transfer. And let me tilt you guys down and zoom you in so that you can actually see what we're doing here. And excuse the mess that's all about. <laughs> that always seems to be the case here, doesn't it? There's always a mess all about. Okay. I'm going to take the napkin. And I'm going to peel back all layers on it. I don't want any extra layers. I'm going to turn on my, my little iron and let it start getting hot. And now sometimes you can wet your fingers and it'll work. This seems to be pretty well, maybe that'll work. Which side is the wording on? Okay, it's over here. I'm going to work on this side then because this will be the piece where I'll be cutting it off. Sometimes it's hard to get them to come apart. There, I see it. Very gently peel your napkin off. There we go. And we're going to take this and just put it to the side. We can always use it for something. You can use it to decorate decoupage bottles and all kinds of different things with it. So just put that off to the side. Let's see, is it dry? Not yet. We're still waiting on this to dry. So we got to give that just a moment there. I'll try to help it by, by fanning it along. Huh? I don't know how well that helps. Let's see if I can get this stuff out of the way for the... There, that way there's no shadow on it other than my hands waving, huh? <laughs> there, that's a little bit better. I can see that it's dry and it's getting there, so it just takes it a moment. And then what we're going to do, the reason I want it to dry is so I don't want any wrinkles on it. I want it to be very, very smooth. And I'm going to work on the sides of it also afterwards, but I don't want to put the Mod Podge on there yet. I just want the top of it to dry, and then we're going to iron it on there, and that way it'll be absolutely no wrinkles whatsoever. It's a heat activation. And that's one of the reasons why you don't want to put too thick a layer of Mod Podge on the top, because it takes too long to dry. <laughs> but that's okay. 
I can always get out my blow dryer here. That'll make it dry quick, won't it? There we go. Sometimes you have to take other measures. Now it's dry. So now we're going to place the napkin exactly how we want it. That's another reason why I wanted to wait. I wanted to be able to place it exactly how I want it. I want the wording to show just perfect right on here. And I also want it to be over far enough to where I can pull it down on the side here to cover the entire sides and front of the canvas. Now, my friend Carol Reynolds sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous napkin. And I thought, I, I need to come up with a way to do that, a, a way to use this napkin fully to, to get the full, proper use of it. I want it to be over just a little bit. That looks about right, right there. Okay, so I'm going to start with just, this is at the highest setting, no steam. Uh-oh. It is going to wrinkle, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Right where I didn't want it to. I guess I should have put something under it like a book to hold it flat and firm. So there's a learning lesson in everything we do, isn't there? All the way to the corner. Let me press it down real good here. I needed to put something under it to keep it smooth, and I didn't. So that 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 would be why we have this issue here. I'm gonna press it up. Push it up with my fingers underneath. Can't do too much of that though. The iron is hot. All the way to the corner here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to stop right there doing that. Even though it's got some wrinkles on it. And then I'm going to flip it this way. Make sure there's nothing under here. Last thing I want is something on the top of it to mess it up. We'll just get some of these old napkin pieces. and That way I can just lay it down here. And I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to go around the edges and I'm going to press it up. I thought that would be perfect and there would be absolutely no wrinkles. But yes, obviously you need to put a book underneath there in order for that to work properly. Okay, and then we're just going to bring this up. Yeah, and that's got a couple of little wrinkles in it, too, but I am not going to stress over a wrinkle. I can tell you that right now. It's not worth the time nor the energy. Because perfection is overrated. Something that's handmade with love for someone is absolutely perfect. Even with a little wrinkle on it, all you gotta do is look at yourself and you'll see that you get little wrinkles too and that doesn't keep you from being any less better than what you already are, huh? Okay, so here we go. I've got that pushed up all the way on here, just like that. We're gonna just take that and just put a little bit of Mod Podge right on the corner of it here. 
you can't see what I'm doing there. I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge right on that and just fold it over at the top. Okay. Turn my iron off. I no longer need that. Get the Mod Podge going along right here. Along the rim at the bottom edge. And then we'll just bring it up. Right up to it. And get my scissors here, and I'm just going to trim this down. I'm not worried about it being perfectly straight at all, because we will be cutting along that too. But for now, I just want that to be trimmed down. Just like I did on the other end, I'm going to take a glob of the Mod Podge, wet this piece of the napkin, this little edge, I'm just going to fold it right up and smooth it down with my finger. There we go. Right along here. Turn it this way. More Mod Podge. Right along the edge, take my hand, bring this up. Okay, I just need to take the scissors and trim it. And no, I know that's not a smooth trim at all. Don't worry about it. Not concerned with that. Get a little Mod Podge on the corners like I did the other two. Bring it over and smooth it up with my hand. As you can see, there's plenty of Mod Podge in that brush. You just got to squish it. Bring that right up to the edge there. Just like that. All right, we're done with the Mod Podge. I'm just going to wipe this off. Let me just find any piece, little piece, thin piece. That'll do. Wipe off the top of that, because we know what a problem that creates when you don't, don't we? Jeez. Be on here struggling like a crazy person trying to open them things. Oops. Sit up. All right, we're just going to put that in the water. Let me turn that back on for just a moment. I can see where it didn't stick right there. And we're going to work on that with the heat. Okay. And then let's see this back here on the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to wet it. And then I'm just going to go and wet this napkin right along the edges and just pull it off. Just wetting it like this, across the edge. 
Or you could even just smooth it down with Mod Podge if you wanted. And that would be perfectly fine too. fingers and just pull it off of the edge. Smooth it down. Take a few. Give me a little bit of water over here. Just wet it and it just pulls right off. No, it doesn't have a smooth edge to it though, but that's all right. I'm just gonna pull that down. And I'm just gonna wet it down. Right around the side. Wetting it, wetting it, wetting it, wetting it. Get it and just take my fingernail and just go up the edge. Just smooth that down. Not like that. I think that's fine. Flip this over, and up here I can see that it did not stick well, so I'm going to go back over this with the iron again. Until I get it to stick real well. Just pressing it down, trying to make sure that it's getting touched all over with this heat. So I want this to stick on there real well. Not to this paper. <laughs> I'm trying to tilt it and see if I can see any more spots where it's not... Hearing well. That looks like that's on there pretty good. I think I should just leave it be at this point, guys. I like how it looks. Turned out pretty. Isn't that a gorgeous looking canvas? I love it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a super simple, super easy way to make a pretty little canvas for a friend or for yourself. All you need is a pretty napkin. It could be any design. I love this one. It says, Rejoice in Him, Psalms 33, 21. All right, guys. 
Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again real soon. Thank you, Carol, for this beautiful napkin.